Hi everyone. This is the Charming Giraffe and today we will be doing a painting. It will be a flip and drag painting. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas <clears throat> and I will only be using red, yellow, and blue. And this is already coated with white paint. It's so wet. Um, I did that already. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to layer these colors. Just red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. So just six different times. And then we'll flip it over and drag it. I did a smaller version of this for a special painting I'm doing. Um, it was on a 6x6. Six six. This is a 12x12. 12 12. Probably going to end up using a lot of paint. Hopefully we'll still get some negative space because that is what I'm going for. Didn't really remember that as I was pouring this cup. <coughs> so let's see here. It's a little bit easier on a 6x6 six six canvas because I literally just take it and take my little bitty cup. I use a, the tiniest cup I can find. It's like a condiment cup from like fast food restaurant and just kind of like touch it together and do that. This obviously we're not going to be able to do that with because this is a bigger canvas. I'm sure if you had bigger hands or a two person job you could do that. It would probably work out but I am not going to do that. We are just going to do our best here. One, two, three. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> this is not going to happen. Hmm, let's see here. Dude, but dude, look at this, guys. I'm going to have to show you this. Welcome to your first video. You never know what you're going to get here. But look at this. <laughs> it is so cool. Happy mistakes. Happy mistakes are happening. Look at that. And even what's on the canvas is really cool. But hey, now guys, you know, that doesn't work. So learn from my mistakes. Don't try that. Unless you're going for this messy effect. Then there's a new technique we just invented called sloppy something. Sloppy flip. Is that a thing? Let me know. Let me know if that's a thing. Here, let's see. Can you guys see that? Probably not. Let me see if I can bring my light in on the cup. It's pretty cool. I actually have a cup that I really like. I actually really like this, but it probably won't stay that, that pretty. But one that dried really pretty. And of course, I get a drop on my canvas. Does it drop? <clears throat> One of the cups that did dry really pretty actually hung on my wall with all my paintings. We got light back on our piece. All right, this is really cool though. So, the only thing I'm not happy with is that drop, so we will be running that off. I need to get some gloves going. I learned this on my last one I did. Just pour a bunch of paint on it. It will eventually go away. This is a Beach Coming Back original skill. And we're going to get some gloves on. Because I am not what you would call... I don't know. I'm very... I hate stuff being on my hands, like food when you have to eat like ribs or something, like no, it doesn't happen. My hands have to be clean. I go through so many gloves and so many baby wipes and so many paper towels painting just because something gets on my hand, it's got to come right off. So I'm just going to move this a little bit. I'm going to try to maintain some negative space. huge fan of a lot of this yet, but hopefully it will sell up. There is no silicone in any of my paints. I had a painting I loved, 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 and the silicone messed it up. So I don't use it anymore. Um, but I do torch. So 
I torched the white when I put it on first just to get any air bubbles out. We're going to push this back this way. straw and blow on it. There should definitely be straw hanging around. Oh, here it is. I got these at the, I think I got like a Dollar General. They're like super long. Like they're, if I stretch it out, which I'm not going to, but if you stretch it out, it's like probably two or three times longer than a regular straw. So I really like it. Because then you can like, bend it to whatever direction you need it to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get started here. Just so my head's not in the frame while I'm doing all this, I'm going to pause you while I do this next time. We will be right back. All right, and we are back. That took maybe all of 30 seconds to do. Just literally went down with a straw and just blew all these little pretty lines out. I really like how this side turned out. Yeah, I think I'm liking it now. Not a huge fan of all the red, but other than that, you get what you get sometimes. You never really know how it's gonna come out and you can never duplicate a, a piece. I have learned that. The piece that I really loved I was telling you about earlier, I'll show you here in a minute and why I don't like it. Well, I still love it. Let me correct myself. Well, I just don't like what the silicone did to it. Um, I have tried probably 20 plus times to recreate that piece and it's not happening. I will probably still continue to try just because I really do like the color combination. But yeah, so far it's not, it's not what I was uh, going for. But this is actually, I'm really liking it. I wonder, I wonder make it move to take over some of that red. Yeah, do that. I'm gonna scooch some of that red down a little bit. Yeah, make it a little bit of white space left. Not as much as I wanted. Here is the piece that I did like three days ago. It is on my Instagram. Um, that inspired this piece. So you can see how those two pieces look similar. I'll show you. I literally put a tiny amount of paint into this little bitty cup and this was wet white paint and I literally just went like that to get it on there and then moved it around. Clearly I need to figure out how to do that on the bigger canvas a better method <laughs> than what we tried today. Um, and then the piece that I was also telling you about that I absolutely love, but the silicone kind of made it not so cool, is this piece. It is one of my favorites. The reason that I don't like what the silicone did to it is, let's see, sorry, you're moving. My apologies, guys. I don't know if you can tell very well on the canvas, but it left like major voids in the paint where the silicone touched the canvas first. So it kind of made a barrier between the canvas and the paint so the paint wouldn't stick. So I'm not sure what happened to the camera <laughs> in the middle of that explanation. So we are back again. And obviously you didn't know that the camera stopped because I'm going to edit this piece, but there is a little going to be a little bit of a weirdness to it. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the silicone here. Um, so you can see it here. Now that I'm holding the camera, you can tell it a lot better. However, I'm holding it in one hand and holding the painting in the other. So I can't point, but you can clearly see where you can tell where the paint isn't fully touching the canvas. And that's because the silicone is touched the canvas first. So that's why I quit using silicone. These were this painting collection I did this day was the last day I did use silicone. So 
Now we are coming in for a close up. That's that's when I realized the camera wasn't recording any longer. But we'll start on the upper right hand side. No, upper left hand side. I'm gonna have to learn to left and right now. And here's where I blew the red into the white. And by doing so, you got all these other crazy colors coming through here. The greens, reds, blues, orange, yellows. Here's the right hand side. I'm gonna come down to the bottom of the painting. Here's where this one was blown out. Like the little wisps into the negative space. Now on the bottom left hand side. Less cells over here. And then the middle is just full of crazy cells. So yeah, here I'll zoom out for the last shot here. Oh here, real quick. Oh, that's not the last shot. Here's the uh, the oops splatter. Again. Pretty cool. Anyways, here's the last shot. Do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can see all the my work I've done to date, as well as this will go on Instagram later today or tomorrow. It's at the Charming Giraffe. I am on Pinterest at the Charming Giraffe as well, and Twitter at Charming Giraffe. The the wouldn't fit in there; it was too many digits, so it's just Charming Giraffe on Twitter. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, and do what makes you happy.